What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today I'm with my very long time friend Philip right here. What up, what up? Yeah, he just uh, came up here the other day and asked me to take him fishing. So we're out here. We're trying, we're gonna catch some fish also with his friend Connor. I'm the third wheel. <laughs> we got poke pole, we got uh, high low rig, and we got crab snares. So a lot of a lot of things we can possibly catch. When's the last time you went fishing? Uh, like three years ago. Three years ago? Yeah. And before that? Never. Never before that? You never took me, fool. <laughs> you never took me, never took me, fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my bad, I never took you, dude. <laughs> yeah, we long overdue. When I brought these guys out to Half Moon Bay Jetty, and normally, you know, when I'm bringing somebody out and they're beginners, a jetty is a good place to start, jetty or piers. Um, I don't really like the pier. Jetty, there's a lot more variety that you can catch. Rockfish, you can catch even surf perch, uh, monkey face eels, you can catch crabs. So a lot more variety. And you don't even need a license to fish on a jetty. Let's get it. All right, get some bait on there. Just explain what happens to these crabs. So there's the squid in here and you pull the rod and hopefully the crab is on here when you pull it and they get stuck, they get snagged on this. Oh, yeah. And then you just uh, drag them in. You can bring it up maybe like four feet away from the tip right there yeah and then this line here you just take this line hold it down and then this is called the bail put that over so if you let this finger go it's just gonna go out so you just kind of bounce it a little bit one two three there you go and kind of just tighten the line and then you can just leave this and you're fishing, dude. Philip, how long, how long uh, have I known you? Since middle school? Middle school. Middle school. Yeah, what is that? 2003, 2003 yeah. and four. Tipped it with a piece of squid and a two ounce. All right, Philip, let's see it. First cast. As I toss it, let go of my finger? Yeah, yeah, as you toss it, let go of the finger. Uh, yeah, just throw it out there. There you go, there you go. Real, real good arcing shot. All right, put, flip it back over. Yeah, reel in the slack, make it tight. Get that line tight. When you fill the taps, do, 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 like that. You gotta set the hook and just reel them in. See if I can catch a fish down here with my poke pole. Oh, you lost it. Oh, I see oh, Krabby. Right oh, Go no. get him. Oh. He's so big too. <laughs> Damn. Too bad I couldn't bring him up here. Suck. Hey, I caught something on the third try. Uh, where, the, show it to me. <laughs> it's down there. Uh, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come back. Well, bring him up. I'm trying. He's going to have a fight. Oh, no, that's a fish. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> what up, fish? Are you too small. <laughs> How do you tighten this thing? Uh, oh. the top. Huh? This? No, right on the top of the area. Ah. Oh, I'm afraid of fish. First fish. <laughs> See this cave right here? I'm gonna go into this cave under these boulders and I'm pretty sure I can fit in there and that's where I normally catch when I do poke bowling. If it wasn't negative tide you wouldn't be able to do this. Oh man. Oh shit I do it. I'm in. Oh. I'm in. Oh crap. Oh I'm in. Woo! It's kind of spacious in here, actually. Pretty spacious in here. I'm pretty sure I've caught a fish here. I got a fish. Got a fish. 
Got a fish. Whoa! He's vibrating. What is that? Oh, it's a cab. Oh no, it's a rockfish. It's a little rockfish. I gotta get back out of. All right, I'm out. There you go. Little rockfish. Well, maybe, maybe a little too small to eat. But <sighs> how did it feel to catch a first fish? You felt the bite? Yeah, dude, felt terrifying. <laughs> felt terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> you got one though. That only took like 15 minutes. Yeah, man. Nice, dude. Nothing to it. <laughs> 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 the other day I took out uh, Philip and Connor out on the jetty in Half Moon Bay, but uh, we, didn't we didn't catch anything. We caught a few. No, we caught a couple. <laughs> well, you didn't catch anything. Right, I didn't catch. <laughs> I anything. caught one. Philip caught two, actually. Caught but two. they were small. Yeah, they were small. But I want to get them on some real fish. So I asked Danny to bring us out here on his boat so we can get on some fish. And so Danny was kind enough to bring us on. Now we're gonna catch some fish. Hell Let's yeah. do this. You have a different size weight than he does. Look at this camera setup I got here. Osmo Action, Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and got the external battery. This is gonna last all day. Come on, Lincot! Come on, Lincot! All right, nothing on that first drift. We're gonna move spots. Double fisting. <laughs> <laughs> Two rods. It's there's no limit on how many rods you can use out here. So this is completely legal. <laughs> this one, I'm going for bait. Just got got a sabiki rig on there, and this one I got the big swim bait. Yeah, he always. Oh, there you go. Wait, hold on. Time to drag. Time to drag. Go ahead. Got a fish. Got a fish on. There you go. You can go on slowly. You can go slowly. Take your time. There you go. That is a fish. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Philip got the first fish. Good job, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Bigger. Get, let's get a bigger one. Right. Let's get some bigger ones. Surprisingly, it's kind of a struggle to begin with. It's been about 45 minutes and one small fish that Philip got. That's about it. But we'll get them. We'll get on some right now. These guys have known you since middle school. Philip. Yeah, Philip, I've known since middle school. And then in high school, um, we, kept, we became a lot closer because we played uh, on the basketball team together. We sat on the bench together. <laughs> you on? Oh, yeah, that's a fish. Oh, that's a fish, Philip. Fish. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. China. Philip just caught a China rockfish. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've never caught one of those. <laughs> Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Dude, Philip, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Nice. Ooh. You on? Yeah. Yeah, that's another fish. That's another fish. Ooh. I guess we're glad we brought oh. this guy in. <laughs> Philip. That's a nice one. Hey, that's a that's a better one. That is a better one. Fish? Mm, wow, wow. Oh, a little tiny one. Oh, you got it. You a little. Drop it down for a bling. Yeah. Screw it. Let's go big or go home. So I got this little little rockfish here. Was this? Is a blue? 
I'm gonna use him as live bait. Oh, Philip got another fish. Oh, oh Phillip man, zone. the Philip zone. <laughs> yep. Another China. I know. Wow. <laughs> Philip got another one. <laughs> Number five for Philip. Oh. Were you glad to talk to him? <laughs> oh. oh, no, man. Oh, all right. Nice. Connor, how many bites have you had? Let's not talk right, about it. Connor, get one? I think so. <laughs> Getting on the board? Oh, I got one! There, there we go. go. Swing nice. Don't nice china. The water. There you go. Feel better? A little bit. <laughs> there you go, man. We can go home now. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys, we got some fish. Uh, mainly, Philip got most of the fish today. Congrats to Philip. Good job. And yeah, we I got, got one. <laughs> I got one. You got one. We're headed back in. We're gonna go cook up a couple of these rockfish, and I'm gonna make a Jamaican style fish escovich. Cause Philip, Philip is Jamaican. His parents are from Jamaica, and I actually asked his mom. I called his mom and asked her how she makes fish escovich, and yeah, she gave me the recipe. She told me how to make it. So I want to make that today. Yeah. We're just going to do a shallow fry on these fish, all right? All right, so now I'm just going to score these fish. Just a couple scores on them. And I'm going to cook the China rockfish. Just three scores on them like that. And then I'm just gonna season them with salt and pepper. Give that a season outside, on the inside. Just like that. Philip's mom, she told me she used a little bit, I think a little bit of flour. So we'll just lightly coat that with a little flour. I'm gonna drop it in. While that's cooking, I'm gonna prepare the other ingredients. And the other ingredients you need for this dish is a uh, bell pepper, carrot, red onion, or actually, I think they use probably white onion or yellow onion, but an onion. And I have here habanero peppers. Also, as well as apple cider vinegar. And this is pimentos, a little Caribbean allspice. That's what that is, pimentos. And these onions, just cut them into rings. Let me flip my fish. I think that's ready to flip. Now I have the carrots. Dog season four dog. Woo, that looks good. The fish is all fried up. All I have to do now is make the pickle portion. Um, I'm using some apple cider vinegar and it's gonna go red onions, carrots, and bell peppers, and the pimentos right in with it. And I'm also gonna dilute 
the apple cider vinegar with a little water and then also add a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna put like maybe a quarter cup of vinegar. Yeah, something like that. Also another quarter cup of water or maybe just a little more than a quarter cup. Turn the heat on. Okay, now I have the vinegar and water up to a, a simmer. I'm gonna add a little sugar just to offset the, the vinegariness, the acidity. Just a tablespoon. Add the carrots in. Onion. And the bell pepper. Also the pimentos right here. Maybe about uh Yeah, don't go too crazy. Yeah, how how many do you think, Philip? Uh that's good right there. That's pretty good right there. Yeah. Just crush them up a little bit, right? Just like that. And I wanna add it in. Bam. One more thing. The habanero. Scotch bonnet, if you have it. Yeah, I love spicy, so I mean, I have more, but uh, I don't know if everybody likes spicy, spicy. And we'll let this simmer for, uh, I don't know, what do you say, like 10, 10 minutes almost? Yeah, we'll give about 10 minutes. Let the, let the carrots get soft, onions get a little softer too. You know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little salt in there. I don't know if they do that, I'm gonna do that. This is smelling good. Pretty excited to try this. I think this is done now. Turn the heat off here. Look at that. This smells amazing, very vinegary and uh, spicy. Those two habaneros in there, whoo, give it a kick for sure. So now I'm just gonna toss them all over this fish. And there it is, but uh, you're supposed to marinate it for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll let that sit, but that's pretty much it right there. What do you think, Philip? How's it look? How's it look? Looks about right. Looks about right? Yeah. All right, all right. We're gonna have to take a picture, send it to my mom. Yeah, send it to your mom, see what she says. Yes, so we're gonna split this up. Right. Carrots, bro. Carrots on point. Carrots on point? That's right. Carrots need to cook more. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're al dente, right? It's like, yeah. to make it pro. Need a little juice. All right, let's go. Taste test. All right, taste test, taste test. <laughs> let's taste this and see how it came out. Should we let the Jamaican go far. first? Mmm, that's not bad. Oh, mm. I Ooh. like it. It does have heat, though. It Woo. does have heat. All right, you got a little Jamaican in you, I see. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Nope. Dang. You've been over to my house too many times. <laughs> I learned from the best. Mm. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about your mom. <laughs> I'm gonna say, you know, she is the best. Mm -hmm. You cook Jamaican food? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Ah. You do, bro. I make that jerk chicken. I know. I just, I mean. The oxtail. Oh, Ooh. the oxtail. All right. Oxtail. Yeah. I know. I asked you about the, I asked you about this dish. You were like, talk to my mom. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't mess with this. You don't mess with the seafood, huh? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. That was good, though. It is good. 
Good job. Thank you. It's got a nice tanginess. Nice, good amount of spice. Mm. Mm. And the fish cooked perfectly. Fish is good. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'll I'm, take your word for it. I don't really eat fish, so I don't know. I'm used to the snapper. It's cooked. Yeah. But this isn't bad at all. Snapper's maybe a little bit more tender, the meat. Yeah. Yeah. And the rockfish has a little more firmness to it. But it's good. They're both nice, really good white fish. So it's probably the closest we can get to what we have here locally. It wakes you up though. I like this dish though. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I like this dish. Never had it. Never go. had this. Philip brought the beers. Of course he brought. Red Stripe. The Red Stripe. <laughs> he said Jamaican dish, so I had to get the Jamaican beer. That's right. Well, cheers guys. Cheers. Thank you guys for coming. Danny, thanks for taking cheers. us. Thanks for taking us cheers. fishing. Woo, Bottoms cheers guys. Up. Oh, delicious dish. I think I'll be making this a lot more often. Oh yeah. This is a super spectacular dish. Flavors are really good. Nice and tangy. Mm. And with the rockfish, it's great. I think with snapper, it's, it's probably better with snapper. It'll be a little more tender. And, yeah. and I think it, it probably soaks up the, 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 the vinegar a little more too. Yeah. But anyways, delicious, amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Woo.